So we have now progressed this far in our journey through the awesome control systems. Next we're going to start with module 2 of control systems and engineering. My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So in module 2 the first topic that we'll be discussing are about standard test signals. So in control systems there are certain standard test signals or standard signals that we use for the purpose of testing. So let us now see what the basic standard test signals are. So the first standard test signal that we see is an impulse signal. So if we are drawing a particular graph like this and this is say the amplitude and if this denotes the time then an impulse signal would look somewhat like this. If this is zero, then this is what you refer to as an impulse signal. That is, an impulse signal is denoted as the value of the impulse signal is equal to one if t is equal to zero and the value of this is equal to zero when t is not equal to zero. That is, an impulse signal would have a particular magnitude or a particular amplitude only when the time is equal to zero. So now, if we simply take the Laplace transform of this particular impulse signal, we would get the value of this particular impulse signal as 1. So this is the first standard test signal which you refer to as an impulse signal. And now, the next standard test signal that we are going to see is a step signal. So now, here, if this is time 0 and let us assume that we have a particular amplitude say 1, then a unit step signal would look somewhat like this. That is, it would have a constant amplitude of 1 as time progresses. So therefore, if we denote a particular step signal, we can denote it as u of t is equal to 1 when t is greater than 0 and u of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0. So for all the values for t greater than or equal to 0, we have u of t is equal to 1. And for all the values when t is less than 0, we have u of t is equal to 0. So that is what you refer to as a step signal. So now on taking the Laplace transform, we would get the Laplace transform of a step signal as 1 divided by s. So this is a step signal that acts as a standard test signal. So this is what you refer to as a step signal. Next let us see what you refer to as a ramp signal. So a ramp signal is a signal that looks like a particular ramp. That is from 0 as the time increases the amplitude of this signal would be equal to this particular time like this. That is, it is ramping up. So therefore, if we denote this particular ramp signal, we can denote it as r of t is equal to t when the time t is greater than or equal to 0 and r of t is equal to 0 when the time t is less than 0. That is what you refer to as a ramp signal. That is, the amplitude of this particular signal would be equal to the time at a particular time. At any given time like this. They both are equal. That is what you refer to as a ramp signal. And now, on taking the Laplace transform of this particular ramp signal, we would get this equal to 1 divided by s squared. So that is what you refer to as a ramp signal acting as a standard test signal. And lastly, we have the last standard test signal which you refer to as the parabolic test signal. So a parabolic test signal would look like a parabola. That is, its amplitude would look like this, which varies as t squared by 2. So therefore, a parabolic signal can be represented as x of t is equal to t squared by 2 if t is greater than or equal to 0 and x of t is equal to 0 if t is less than 0. This is simply what you refer to as a parabolic signal and this signal the Laplace domain can be represented as 1 divided by s cube. So that is simply what you refer to as a parabolic signal acting as a standard test signal. As simple as that.
So these thus are the standard test signals that we use in the case of control system and engineering. So now here we saw four test signals, an impulse signal, a step signal, a ramp signal and finally a parabolic signal. So all these four test signals are interrelated with each other. How is that? Well, let's find out. So, if we have a particular impulse signal like this. Now, if we integrate this particular impulse signal with time, we would get a particular step signal. That is the first relation. So now, let us now integrate this particular step signal with time. So therefore, integral of u of t dt, we would get this equal to a ramp signal. So now, upon integrating this particular ramp signal with respect to time, we would get a parabolic signal. So this is the basic relationship between the various four various standard test signals. That is, upon integrating an impulse signal with respect to time, we would get a step signal. And upon integrating that particular step signal, we would get a ramp signal. And upon integrating that ramp signal, we would get a parabolic signal. So therefore, on the contrary, by taking differentiation, d by dt of a parabolic signal would be equal to a ramp signal, r of t. And now, d by dt of a particular ramp signal would be equal to a step signal, u of t. And now, d by dt of u of t would be equal to a particular impulse signal. So these thus shows us the relationship between the four standard test signals. That is, an impulse signal, a step signal, a ramp signal, and a parabolic signal. As simple as that. As simple as that, guys. There's nothing more to it. So, I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as various standard test signals in control systems and engineering. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So, stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.